Hello everyone, welcome back to Ben There, Damn That. I believe it's time to go up this ladder, or down it perhaps, I'm not sure which direction we're actually going. Let's go. If this dimension is exactly the same as home, except doors are one inch higher or something, I vote we stay. Likewise, and given the infinite parallel universe theory, that's perfectly likely. Cross your fingers. I'm not going near all that neon until I find out exactly what the deal is with this dimension. It's a dimension where Britain is part of America. Stone me. How did that happen? Hmm. I don't understand most of this. Politics isn't my strong point. Seems a year ago today, Britain became America's 51st state. Clerical error. Blah blah blah. Monster raving loony party voted in. Yib yib yib. Lost country. Lost country to President John Bunnell and game of paper, rock, scissors. Yada yada yada. <sighs> See if I ever vote for them again. It's a newspaper. The headline reads Britain's first glorious year as America's 51st state. <laughs> a state of America. Amazing. I'm looking at these things trying to remember what they are. I'm like, okay, a blue blob. What is that? Oh yeah, it's a blue tack. And this. Is that like, um, a piece of dirty paper? No, it's a stone, I think. It is a stone, isn't it? It's a dull looking rock. Okay, yeah, it's a stone. Okay, let's go in this random building. Or we could knock first, I guess, that's fine. Uh, hi? Hello up there! Damn it, I skipped it. Who are you? Can't you tell from my fine castle and crown? I'm Red Google Meyer III, the governor of England. You mean King of England? Hell no, son! There ain't no royalty in England no more, not since the reintegration. Reintegration? Gee whiz, don't you Britons watch the news? A year ago today, your Prime Minister gave the whole entire country over to us. In fact, the only reason I'm open to house calls today is because it's the one year anniversary. Gotta do my bit for public relations, you know? Alright, Google Meyer the third. Nice crown. I could use it. Thanks, kid. It's an exact replica of the crown your King Reginald wore in the 1600s. King Reginald? But it's cardboard. Right. Just like old Reggie wore. The Cockney counter clerk at the local convenience store told me. Got it for damn cheap, too. Uh-huh. What's your policy on guns? I have pledged to fight the gun problem that's, that plagues my fair city. I will fight to end the supply shortage so that everyone will have all the guns they need. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to vote for you. You sound like a lovely person. <laughs> we'll be seeing you, partner. What is this, a western? What's your policy on bums? I'm assuming that means homeless people as opposed to asses. <laughs> ben, you can't say that to the governor of England. It's okay, I'm speaking American. Uh, I'm not sure you are. <laughs> hey, it's their constitutional right to sit around drinking liquor. And if they want to take a whiz on the sidewalk, then heck, that's their constitutional right too. Nice castle. Mighty kind of you to say so. A year ago, it was just a weedy little cottage. I figured it wasn't British enough, so I had it upgraded. God save our gracious queen? What? Is that a song or something? Long live our no- Yeah, okay, that's a song. <laughs> hey, you call me a queen boy? You're lucky I don't sue you right now. Uh, sorry, it was just an impromptu sing-song. 
Can we come in? Why the hell would you want to come in? Uh, to combine objects? Oh, in the hopes of making a third more useful item, you mean? Uh, precisely, yeah. Sorry, Phyllis. Every single item in my big old castle here is certified unusable with any other item. I have a sort of OCD condition. If any two objects in my possession were to combine to make a third, well, let's just say my therapist and I have done a lot of good work recently. And it'd be an awful shame to undo the inner working of my brain in such a haphazard manner now, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Um, can we come in? Uh, to rummage through your junk. What? <laughs> and look at it and use it? That sort of thing? Precisely, yeah. Oh, damn it. We're on an adventure, you see? He's not gonna let us in. Ah, I see. I accidentally skipped that. Oh, well. So, can we come in? Absolutely not. Well, shit. Well, be seeing you, partner. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Yeehaw! That's how you speak American. Merkin! Stop that. Sorry. I think I should turn the text speed even slower. There we go. What do I actually have, by the way? Maybe I could, like, throw... Oh, I could throw a rock at his face. Yeah. That seems like a good idea. I'm not giving him any of my things. He'll most likely try to sue me for giving him stuff. Hmm, that's true. What if he'd want the Bibli? No. Fish and fries. Well, that's definitely... Actually, I was about to say that's not an American thing. Is it? Well, I get, kind of. I guess it's been Americanized, right? Because normally it's called fish and chips. And it's called fish and fries. Freedom fries, yeah! <laughs> I can't believe they were ever actually called freedom fries, even if it was only for like two minutes. What the hell kind of a jackass calls them that? Fish and fries? This place is worse than the zombie dimension. Triforce! 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 What? Look at the uh, pictures back here. The paintings. They appear to depict gigantic creatures shooting lasers out of their eyes and destroying an entire town. I don't... I really, really, really don't want that. What about this one? I'm not carrying that around with me. Damn it. Alright, let's talk with these lovely chaps. I think the most polite way to introduce yourself is, Who the hell are you three? Who are we? We're three geniuses. Evil geniuses. Evil geniuses, thank you, David. We are three evil geniuses with a foolproof master plan for the destruction of the city. And the total eradication of all humankind. Except us. And the total eradication of all humankind except us, obviously. Seriously? You're evil geniuses? Oh, yeah. We've got a whole array of evil genius master plan... What the fuck does that say? Just waiting to be put into action? You'll see. Kind of hard to read against the background. That's the... That's the drawings you have behind you, yes? Blueprints! These blueprints represent phase one of our upcoming Weekend of Terror. As you can plainly see with your eyes, these plans will rain down unimaginable evil upon the city. Destroying any and everything in our path. <laughs> Why? Why what? Well, the only thing blueprinty about them is just the one on the left that's actually drawn in blue. Aside from that, they're much they're not much blue or print. So, uh, why are you hellbent on the destruction of humanity? Dirty dirty. Full of idiots who do stupid things. 
He's wiping clean and starting again. No good games anymore. And no good games anymore. Seems reasonable to me. What are you drinking? This is our moonshine. It's an alcoholic beverage the likes of which the world has never seen because it has been made primarily with evil in mind. It's our own creation. Two parts battery acid, one part battery acid, and a splash of every sort of alcohol underneath, uh, under the sun. <laughs> so it's primarily battery acid? Okay. Except that Goldschlager stuff, that's nasty. Except the nasty Goldschlager stuff. And then we distill it for a bit and mix it with a neat, uh, mix it with neat alcohol and paint stripper and serve. It's very warming. Yeah. I'm sure you'll feel a nice, warm, radiating feeling in your stomach right before you die. Why all the boozing, gents? Life went wrong. Things happened. We had it all. The three of us. Successful video game journos. All three of us were... Top of our field. Stay was awarded a Game Master Golden Joystick for services to awesomeness. Simon was knighted for writing an article about how, how some games are shit because of tacked on stealth elements. And David wrote a review which was so good entire nations threw down their weapons and embraced peace. We truly were the bestest. So what went wrong? We became jaded. We had sampled the very best games in the universe, and there was nothing left to experience. When we saw there were no more worlds left to conquer, we wept. For there were no more worlds left to conquer. We knew then that there was no way mankind would ever produce a video game of enough awe-inspiring brilliance to arouse us again. So we turned our backs on the industry we once loved. And came here to set up a new offices, uh, to set up new offices as evil geniuses and destroy the world. Except us. Except us, obviously. What a tragic tale. Let's talk about these blueprints. Yes, ask away. Yes, ask away, mortal. Holy shit, that's a lot of questions. Uh... What's the stompy robot plan? It's really rather simple. We build a big robot, bigger than a house. Yes, David, we build a robot that's bigger than a house, and then we get in it. Then we drive, we drive it round all day, smashing things into little pieces. Okay. What's with the tank? It's really rather simple. We steal a tank from the military, one with a gun on the front and everything, and then we use the skills we learned from our video gaming days to drive it around all day, smashing through things into little, that smashing things into little pieces. Um, I'm getting. I think I understand what their plan is for everything. I'm starting to get like a picture here of how the plan goes. Um, what about the one with the explosion? It's really rather simple. We buy some bombs with the money we make from selling our moonshine. Our lovely, lovely warming moonshine. And then we throw the bombs around a bit and wait for them to explode. And smash things into little tiny pieces. And the monster? We buy some radiated, um, some, we buy some radiated, we buy some radiation with the money we make from selling our moonshine. Our lovely, pleasant tasting moonshine. Then we pour the radiation to a little lizard or similarly, uh, similarly freaking looking animal, freaky looking animal. Then we wait, we wait, we wait for it to grow and grow and grow. And then, and grow and grow and Eventually, it will be massive and have laser beams for eyes and will smash things into tiny little pieces. And what about the one with the portal? Oh, it's our escape plan for the Weekend of Destruction. Okay, that might be important. Weekend of Terror. Oh yes, Weekend of Terror. Just before the Earth is destroyed, we open a portal to a similar looking but better dimension somehow. Somehow. And we jump through to a new life. One where video games aren't shitty anymore and we have something to write about. Oh, well, that sounds good. Okay, I've heard enough about your stupid fucking blueprints. Good. Uh, goodbye. Did that help me at all? <laughs> like, that entire conversation, did I gain anything that's gonna allow me to get anywhere? Wait, hold on. Are those nails? 
I don't want to pick those up. Good call, you'll probably only wind up killing someone else. Can it, you? I think those are nails. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why do I feel like I could maybe do this? I can't use that here. Damn it! I don't know, I felt like that was a good option for some reason. It was not. By the way, what are these things supposed to be? Like this thing right here, this green thing. These twisty green things. Are those bushes? Like what the hell are they? They're everywhere. Grass? It's like some sort of weird abstract painting of a, or abstract version of foliage. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Well, limey. Let's check out the limey. Maybe they'll have some lemon. And limey. People of Earth! We come in peace, honestly. We have traveled countless bazillions of light years to be here today. We come bearing gifts of plenty, including this high quality and thoroughly addictive Match 3 puzzle game. It's called Hello World, and on our planet it is the most coveted example of our high cultural understanding. To match three gives one a sense of purpose within the universe. These are some awkward silences. Why, why is it taking so long? You see, if you match three or more games in a row, they disappear and get replaced by some new ones, perhaps of differing colors. Repeat ad infinitum. Infinitum, I think it's pronounced actually. This game is completely brilliant. And we're making sure there's a copy available to every man, woman, and child on this lovely, lovely planet of yours. For only nineteen ninety five to cover hosting costs, etc. You know it's a good adventure when you get to the pub and get a few empty pint glasses in your inventory. Wait a moment. This isn't a proper British pub. The barman's smiling, and the floor isn't made of Velcro, and we haven't been beaten up yet. Hmm. This is, a. Uh, uh, bar. <gasps> Hi there, fellas, and welcome to ye olde traditional English public bar, the limey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now, before y'all come on in, I'm going to have to read you the terms and conditions. Let's read it. Let's read it in this accent. By entering these premises, the potential customers here... Uh, hereafter referred to as you guys accept full responsibility for their own safety the management is not liable for you guys becoming intoxicated if imbibing alcohol personal embarrassment or the subsequent mourning or altered perception of the aesthetic values of prospective romantic uh, prospective romantic liaisons any constitutional right to be served within five minutes is waived on entry. By accepting the above terms, you guys undertake not to sue the management for any incident related to the limey from now until death. Do you accept these terms and conditions? If it stops you from saying all that over again, then sure. Swell, my name's Brad. I'll be your bar buddy for today. How can I be of service, Squires? Hmm. <laughs> ye oldie, <laughs> ye oldie bar. <laughs> That's apparently an American interpretation of a pub. These dudes seem British. I guess, kind of, maybe. Actually, they look like clones. They have exactly the same heads. What the hell? That's a bit creepy. Okay, so I need that key. Right, 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 right. Wait, does he only serve, like, American and British beer? Like, that's it? American beer and British beer? What is American beer? Is it just, like, water? What is this thing? It's an absorbent-looking sponge. How does it look absorbent? I'm just saying, you know, it looks like quite a good absorber. What, you mean like how would a... You mean like how what a sponge is supposed to be? Yeah, it's not a newfangled, non-absorbing type of sponge or some description of some description, it's what I'm saying. 
In other words, you're hinting that I needed to absorb fluids. Okay. Thank you for the hint. Yoink. I kind of would like to know why there was just a random sponge on the counter. Because if it's the barman's, then why wouldn't he mind me stealing it? Oh, see if I can take the key, too. I can't get to that from here. It's on the other side of the bar. Besides which, patrons are not supposed to have access to that key. Which is precisely why it's kept on the other side of the bar. Okay, fair enough. Hello, you lovely gents. Howdy, fellas. You what, sunshine? Oh, if only I could do a good, like, British accent. Oh, I wish I could. I can't. I can't. Not even close. Because they're obviously supposed to be read with, like, a really aggressive... Um, I'm not sure the term. Not Probably not the more standard British accent you'd hear on, like, the BBC or something, but something more... What's the term? You know, like the British equivalent of a southern accent. You know, something more thick. Uh, oh, I'm trying to wind them up, aren't I? <laughs> logger, logger, logger shouting. You taking the piss, mate? We're not drinking this Yankee bollocks because we like it. Well, why don't you drink the British stuff? Captain Sodding America over there wants two pieces of ID each before he serves us the good stuff. Dunny. <laughs> God, I wish I could do oh, a good accent for that. I can't. <sighs> and we've only got one each, so we're stuck with this watery shit. How are we supposed to get trolleyed, spew our guts, and take a tumble on this, huh? We could drink it all day and not collapse once, even with the drinking game we've got going. And where's the fun in that, huh? Okay. So, perhaps I need to get them the good stuff. So they get drunk. And then maybe that would allow me to get the key. Because then the barman would have to deal with some rowdy pieces of shit. Hmm. Toodle pip, gents? <laughs> what the hell kind of an exit is that? Toodaloo! What drinking game are you playing then? It's called Carry On Drinking. How do you play it? You having a laugh? You don't know how to play Carry On Drinking? Every time someone comes to England, we down our pints. Sorry, every time? Every time someone comes on England. You mean literally, if someone... To get you to down your pints, I have to... Come on England? Come on England! Come on England! Come on England! Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, oh, oh, damn it. Fuck. No, don't. Grab, 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 grab. Go, 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 go. Okay, got it. Ooh. Subtle. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Well, maybe I don't have to do anything else. I, yeah. I think we're good. It's probably all I needed from here. Whoa. This looks very much like my room back at our house. Yeah, there's a door here, and then there's three doors here. <laughs> Why is the staff door so small? Oh, that's what the key's to, actually. But what's back here? What do I need? I don't know. Let's see what's in here. The fuck? What's wrong with this place? Are those supposed to be urinals? Because they look like bags. With like little kangaroo pouches in them. The fuck? Some sinks. Broken. This mirror is broken. That's convenient, isn't it, Dan? I can only imagine how hard it must be to make a fully functioning mirror. Hours and hours of work for... Let's face it. A tiny visual payoff. Probably easier just to say, this mirror is broken, and save yourself a little work, no? You'll probably find there's no running water coming from the sinks, either. What's with these awkward pauses? This mirror is broken. Yeah, I know. What? 
Is it because I turned the tech speed all the way down? Why would that do that, though? Like, I'm skipping it, and then there's just, like, an awkward pause for a couple seconds. Turn it up a little bit. See if that changes anything. Condoms. I would not want a condom from that machine. It might be covered in mold. But I'll try anyway. Hey, this thing's a crammed, uh... This thing is crammed with a near-infinite supply of 10p pieces. Awesome. How many exactly? Y you know, lots. Well, what? A quid? A fiver's worth? Hard to tell. M lots. It's hard to count them up. There's a near-infinite supply here. Let's just say there's... Lots. <laughs> that is a typical thing in adventure games, isn't it? Where they know you need to use an item again and again, but you can mess it up, like you can miss or something, and use it on the wrong thing, use it in the wrong way, so they give you an infinite supply. You know, pick up an infinite amount of stones if you want, come back, and resupply. It's a near infinite supply of 10 P pieces. Oh, in this case though, I don't have to keep coming back, it looks like I've got the whole... The whole near infinite supply that looks rather finite in my inventory. What the hell is this? This look like, looks like mail. It looks like someone shoved mail in what I assume is the urinal. There's no way I'm just picking up some piss-soaked loo cakes on the off chance they'll come in useful later on. Not with my bare hands, anyway. If I really, really must, I better put them in something first. Why would I want them? Um... Soak it up. A sponge won't help here to pick up loo cakes. I need something that'll envelop the loo cakes and protect my... Pockets liner, uh, inner lining from the rancid wee smell. Why do I even want them? Really, what am I gonna do with them? Okay. Um. Well, I could use this to pick it up, but I need to put them in something. Oh, like, whoa. What did that say? That was like a whole freaking m novella. I could use the dead man's hand to pick up the loo cakes, thereby sparing my own hands the indignity of smelling like other men's wee. However, rigor mortis has set in and the dead man's fingers wouldn't bend around the loo cakes. And I risk them falling out of my pocket while I walk about adventuring and making the lining smell all of wee. Imagine trying to explain away the smell of other men's wee on my trousers to my mum when, when she washes them. It's all just too unlikely to st a story. I better find some other way of transporting the loo cakes. I don't think I have the better way of transporting them yet. A newspaper wouldn't do it. It's just absorbent. I don't want something absorbent. I want like a plastic bag or something. But let's try it anyway. Whoops. I can't believe I'm picking these things up. This Oh, it actually works. Get on with it, you big Jesse. It's only several cubes of soap, uh, of soap soaked in stranger's piss. Ugh. That is a nasty image. <laughs> it looks like a bunch of chunks of butter that haven't been properly cut up into some flour. Lots and lots of those tiny cube loo cakes you get as you uh, get at the bottom of urinals. Quite why I'm carrying them around is beyond me. Yeah, why am I carrying them? What the hell? So this is what the ladies look like. Looks like. Yep. Why are we in here? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. That won't get me through this locked door. Oh no, wait. That that's unlocked it. You're a master at this adventuring lark. Yeah, I was about to say, what the hell? The key won't get me through the locked door that requires a key? What the hell are you talking about? Hmm. These barrels are unimportant, clearly. It's a barrel of stars and stripes. Weak American lager. It looks like horse piss. 
It's a barrel of Lion's Roar. Strong, proper English beer. Okay, well, if I can come down here, I'm sure I can do something with these. But the question is, what? Put the urinal cakes in the American beer? That doesn't need a rubbish American lager on it. <laughs> okay. It would be an insult to the urinal cakes to get American beer on them. Or lager, whatever. I don't know if there's a difference. As far as I'm concerned, they're the same thing. I have no clue if they are, and I don't really care. Um, I could soak some up. I'm not sure why I'd want to do anything with these, though. Am I trying to poison it? But why? I've already gotten the key. But the key only allowed me to get here, so... The whole point of this entire scene is to do something in the end. And I don't know what yet. I could snip it. Yeah, what am I trying to do? I'm not touching that stuff, me either. There's no moving that barrel, it's full of heavy booze. I could drink some of it if you like, then it'd be lighter. I don't think so, pal. We need to stay sharp to outwit these aliens, remember? Oh, yeah, them. Dan, you want to go near this mucky grog? Not on your Nelly sunshine, it looks like horse piss. That's what I think, too. Let me at it, let me at it! Nope. Damn it. Hmm. Well, I mean, he did mention- hold on. He did mention getting empty... Um, empty cups in the bar, but I don't think I actually have any. So, can I get one? You know, I've actually never talked to him. Hold on. Let's just talk to him. What the hell is this abomination of a public house? Well, this is the Limey, an authentic English theme pub. Theme pub? In London? Sure, it's a big hit. You English folks just love coming here to soak in all the history and to look at my amazing, genuine, honest to goodness, top hat. Oh right, your top hat! Dude, I didn't even look at your top hat. Holy shit, that's right, that's one of the keys. <laughs> what was all that with the terms and conditions? No, no, we're not going through that again. I see you've got some authentic natives in. Oh yeah, these guys. They may not sue us, but they've driven away all the American cust- They've driven- They've driven all the American customers away. Excuse me, I didn't pronounce that in the correct order. I'm- Yeah. How so? They come in first thing every day, drink for 12 hours straight. They pick fights, yell soccer chants, hurl chunks every hour or so, then pass out. Hmm, maybe this is a traditional British pub after all. Yeah, a little too traditional. I tell you boys, I have to haul, I have to haul one more unconscious soccer loud across the floor, I'm hanging up my hat for good. Ooh, you don't say. Hmm. Hanging it up for good? I need to make them unconscious. Which means I do need the proper beer. Alright. Two fulsome tankards of your finest ale, good fellow. Oh gee, uh, right you are, me old mucker. Stars and straps or lions roar? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, I suppose I could just give them, you know, one of the proper stuff. The issue is ID, right? Well, let's try it. A warm, flat, nasty-tasting traditional pint of pure alcohol, please. Lines row it is, sir. Can I see your ID, please? <laughs> but we're obviously over 18. Sorry, sir. The minimum legal drinking age in the state of England is 21. And our policy is to ID anyone who looks under 40. What? Uh, well, we've got a Bible. Does that count? Sorry, sir. Damn it. Okay, hmm. 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 
Hmm. Well, let's take the shitty stuff. Well, we can't even take the shitty stuff, can we? Yeah, of course we can't even take the shitty stuff. This is gonna, gonna get ID'd for, for it no matter what we get. Okay. They say, that's a nice top hat. Thanks, man. Makes me feel like one of these real, authentic British beer wenches, you know? Uh, beer wench? What? Can I try it on? I just did the wrong accent for him. He's now become that accent, yes. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> you want a hat like this? You better get a job here. If I take it off, I'll get fired. Yeah, maybe I'll just start pronouncing these guys with the same accent. That'll be fine. No, let's not do that. Hmm. Uh, we'll go soak in the heady Tudor atmosphere for a bit. Y'all have a good day now, governors. <laughs> governors. Yep, that's British. Say governor and you're good. <laughs> Even the guy on the TV has a dumbass walking animation or running animation. See, look, we're twins. <laughs> okay, um. Hmm. Well, I just need some of the good stuff from down below, right? So how do I actually get it? Like, I need a cup, don't I? Alright, can I uh, get a cup from them? The referee's a wanker. There's no referee, my boy. This is American football, innit? They're probably umpires or something, innit? <laughs> innit, oh god. Oh, if only I could do that accent, it'd be so good. Enjoying the game. Of course we're... F of course we're... Fucking not, son. Don't even understand it. It's got more stupid rules than our drinking game. It was alright at first, because we could shout handball ref every two minutes. Ha ha ha? What's so funny? <laughs> we got bored of that after a couple of months. Months? Jesus. But we're still stuck with this instead of properly instead of proper bloody soccer. Soccer? Footy, footy. Sorry, lads. The uh, who's playing the Merseyside Unicorns versus the Devon Ass Kickers or something. Bloody Americans coming over here speaking our language but a bit different. <laughs> Alright. Let's get them to drink again and let's see if I can get something from it. Can I grab a glass or something? I need a glass. I have nothing to pour anything into, do I? Alright, I got a bunch of money. The hell am I gonna do with the money? I didn't miss anything in here, did I? Nah, there's something in here. The only reason I could think to be able to come down here is so we can actually get the real stuff. I mean, we need to, like, switch these, right? Yeah, we need to switch these. So how do we do that? Like, switch the connection, so then every time he pours the drink for the guys up there, they'll get the, uh, the good stuff. Right? There we go. We'll be drinking the stronger English stuff now. They're gonna be completely blistered. Let's go upstairs and make them down it. What was I doing wrong? I... Oh, yeah, I was clicking on the barrel. You need to click on the, uh, tube itself. go. <laughs> That's it. I refuse to deal with any more drunken English yobs. I quit.
Perfect. Well, I've got my key. But I wonder if I have a way of getting yours. Hmm. Would you like some urinal cakes, sir? I'm not giving any of my things. All right. If I can't give him any of my things, then what the hell do I need to do? Try talking with him again. See if there's any new dialogue. Let's see. Who are you? I've already asked that, right? Yep, King of England. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, hold on. One year anniversary. Mm-hmm. I can't think of anything I can do, though. If I can't use stuff on him and I can't come in. Actually, let's just say to steal stuff. I've never done that before. <laughs> you steal my stuff, boy, I'll sue you. Fine, then we won't. Um, can I come in? Actually, we don't want to come in. I expect you think that's a good joke, don't you? Rather, Mr. King. Sir, yes. Well, it ain't. Aw. Alright. See ya. I guess I'll come back to him. Ready to take a trip into a new dimension, buddy? I'm not sure. These different dimensions are freaking me out. I mean, what if this one is full of sinister... God damn it, I just skipped it. Fuck. I mean, what if, Ben? What if? Yes, what if something. Something about sinister penguins. Uh, well, we'll just have to hope that doesn't happen, okay? Come on, we've got to find this yin-yang and get home. Oh, alright. But keep an eye out for penguins, okay? Well, this dimension sure is disappointing. Relax, chum. Judging by the lift-like structure to this oh-so-very-tiny little room, I'd warrant it's simply some sort of lifelike, uh, lift-like conduit to the dimension proper. Hmm. I don't think pulling at the light will help get the lift moving. It's a big light thing. A big light thing. I think they call those lights. Oh, there's a hatch up to the top of the lift. If I could get it open, I might be able to climb up there and... And what, Officer John McLean? Run about the place with your shoes off? Eat it, Harvey. No, oh, he doesn't want to go up there. Nope, sorry, I simply can't reach. Oh, you didn't even try. Did. I totally did. I totally tried really, really hard, just too fast for you to see. It's one of those things you get in, uh, you get in lifts that lights up to show you whether you're going up and down. Lifts have those? Sure they do. Otherwise, how are you supposed to know whether the lift's going up or down? Good point. That's the button that controls a lift. Weirdly, there's only an up and down option, so I don't know how you're supposed to pick a specific floor. Evidently, lifts are less logical in this dimension. Now, stop picking faults and push the damn button. Damn it. This, the button doesn't seem to work. The panel seems to be loose. I could possibly get the lift working if I could bash it open somehow. What? You're a lift repairman now? You know how to repair the lift control mechanism? Well, no. But how hard can it be? There's only going to be a broken wire back, uh, wire back there or something. I'll just have a fiddle about until it works. What could possibly go wrong? Uh-oh. Yeah, what could go wrong? Um, uh, That was weird. The game froze for a second. I thought maybe it crashed. Which reminds me, I should probably save. Let's try bashing it with a stone. 
All right, this rock should bash that knackered old panel off. See? <laughs> Very clever, MacGyver. That's literally the only thing behind the panel is just a single wire. What the hell? Okay. Um, grab it with your hands. Hmm, here goes. I'm not quite sure what I have to do here exactly. I can't really say I have any experience in fixing lift buttons. Hmm, maybe if I... Aha! That looks much better. Yes, yes, yes. Much more professional. There we go. Good as new. I'd say it's ready for one more press and we'll be on our way. Steady yourself, chum. You're about to see one awesomely working lift. That elevator music. Oh yeah. Well, here we are. <laughs> That's rather abrupt. Top floor. I say we keep going up and down in the lifts to a bare minimum. Uh, keep going up and down in lifts to a bare minimum from now on. Agreed. That was rather long. Nice music, though. What the hell are these things? Oh, it seems to be a dimension where dinosaurs are the dominant species. Cool. Hmm. These guys don't look that cool to me. In fact, the amount of arcade machines at the back there, coupled with these Star Wars toys and body odor in this office... Add up to only one thing. Oh man. It's a video game development studio. Cool! We better tread lightly, chum. These strung out dinos could snap at any time. <laughs> they look very angry. Well, some of them do. These two, in particular, look very angry. That one might be in the process of screaming, or it could just be grinning. I can't tell. Ooh, let's grab that. Don't touch that, it's mine. Merely touching that would technically constitute theft, and I'd be obliged by law to eat you. I suggest a new strategy, Benjamin. Let the dinosaur keep his toy. Damn it. What about this box? Nobody's here. It's a cardboard box. It's taped shut. I can't pick that up. Why don't you try opening it? Well, I would do, but it's taped shut and my fingernails are really short because I bite them. Ah, <sighs> some days everything's a puzzle, isn't it? Do I have anything sharp? Oh, I've got freaking scissors. Neato! This box has three neato, snazzy, handhold gaming consoles in it. And they come prepackaged with a copy of Gibbage 2. Well, that sounds brilliant, doesn't it? I'm totally nicking them at some point. I can't believe dinosaurs wrote the sequel to one of your games in this dimension. It's nice to know one of my games warrants a sequel. And yoink. I've got a bunch of them. Three handheld video game consoles, all booted up with next year's hot game, Gibbage 2. What are the chances of that happening, huh? Remote indeed, I'd say. Picking up everything for no reason. Aw, ye. It's a nerd's garish-looking thermos flask. Ooh, I'm not touching that. No siree, I don't only muck things up and delete all the files and that. Give me a nice pencil and paper any day of the week. What's wrong with the letters, anyway? 
No one sends a nice letter anymore. These days it's all email this and email that. Oh, how I long to receive a normal, ordinary letter that someone has actually taken the time to write with their own fair hand. I expect those days are long gone, though. Shame. Real, real shame. Oh, I actually need this for a key, don't I? Yeah, this is one of the keys, I think. Okay. Hm. It's a poster for a video game called Gangland Bitches 2. <laughs> what? Gangland Bitches 2, wonderful. It's a poster for a game called G. It's of a dinosaur rapper staring at me, looking oh so hard. It's for a video game called Big Fucking Guns. Seems dinosaurs don't have any problem putting swear words in the titles of games. We should call your next game Dirty Bed Buckets. Or not. Okay. Um, the light in my room is flashing, which means... In the real world, that is. Which means either the power might be about to go out, or one of the light bulbs is dying. It seems one of the light bulbs is just dying. Okay, well that's fine. At least that can be fixed. That is going to aggravate the hell out of me. I'm not sure I actually have any replacement bulbs for it. Hm. I'm gonna have to deal with an RL puzzle soon. There's no money in it. You can say that again. Oh, well it just so happens I have a near infinite stack of money. Hmm. Oh, yes, I can use the money. We've got one credit. Oh, do I actually get to play it? Player one has joined the game. Here we go. Please tell me I actually get to play it. Come on, I want to play it, I want to play it. I'm on fire! I died, game over. Did you get the high score, Ben? Certainly didn't, Dan. Not even close. Well, shit. Okay, well what if you play it? Alright, Light Switch Boy, now that was our last 10p, so you'd better be damn good at this thing. Seriously? You want me to do something? What are you talking about? I'm constantly asking you to do stuff. No, I'm not. Yeah, but not stuff I'd actually be willing to do. This, however, is right up my street. Step back, good buddy, and prepare to be amazed by my elite Chucky Egg skills. Oh god, what have I done? Are you ready then? Here we go. There you go, new high score. Yay, and your name is B-U-M. Yeah, brilliance! Whoa. He looks angry. Look at his stampy walking animation. Uh, excuse me, what exactly is going on here? What's going on is the wizard over here just whipped your Jurassic ass on Chucky Egg. Whooped rather than whipped. I suppose you could whip someone's ass, but I don't know. I don't think it'd whip very well. Um, I don't think so. Let me see that. Oh jeez, oh no. It's true. It's all true. How could you? How could you possibly? I better get to work. <laughs> How are our guests doing? On schedule, they're currently in Dimension 3357. You mean the Dino Dimension. Or the Dino Mention. What? Oh, yes, yes. Very good, yes. The Dino Mention, indeed. And tell me, old friend, what news of our plot? Excellent progress thus far. The people of Earth have been clamoring to get their grubby little mitts on a copy of Hello World. At this rate, we predict 100% of the population will have played it by tea time. Ha <laughs> ha These people have no taste whatsoever. This game is ridiculous. I know, I know. Just because it came from another world, they can't get enough of it. Well, it all helps to cement our award-winningly brilliant and nefarious scheme, huh? Certainly does. At this rate, 
We'll be ready for Phase 4 before you know it. Oh, I can't wait for Phase 4. Me either, it's gonna be tops. Alright, that got him away from this computer. Which means I can grab this? The hell is that? It's a Death Star toy. Many bothans died to bring you this information. What the hell's a bothan? Uh, what? What with bashing that priest? to death, poisoning these three, uh, those three louts with alcohol, and now this. It's turning out to be quite an eventful day for you, really, isn't it? Oops, clicked out of the game. Whoops. Yeah, okay, uh, maybe that Death Star toy should be recalled due to risk of death laser. Okay, well, I'll take this. Yoink. I'm not touching that. I might get fingered for some sort of crime. What, like killing, you mean? <laughs> Maybe I'm the reason the dinosaurs went extinct. I killed them all with lasers. What's wrong? It smells like alien in here. Can you smell that? It certainly does smell a little more alien-y than before, yes. They've been here, the nippy little alien bastards. Oh, look, there's a new door in that wall. Really? Where? Just there, look, in the direction we're looking. It's just slightly ajar. Can you see it? Hmm? Oh, yeah! Well, how's anyone supposed to see that, for fuck's sake? <laughs> Wait, is this it? I guess that is it. Yeah, how the hell are you supposed to see that? I wouldn't have seen it. If they didn't mention it. What the hell's in there? There's only one way to find out what's in a room. You walk inside. But I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.